So it's only possible for me to be in LA and bring a group of women to orgasm in a workshop in Australia. Because as far as I'm concerned, in a straight line, all space and time disappears. Everything that's going on on this plane is the reverse of what you've been told. Energy follows thought. Always, always, always. So whatever you say, that's your script. See, if I in no way want something in my life affecting me, I have to drop it out of here. The body was never intended to carry any lies in it because the body itself never lies. It always, always, always tells the truth. And truth above everything is the greatest protection you could ever have on this plane for every perceived threat. Every spot on the body contains every spot on the body. It makes no difference what spot a woman gives me. So we're in a restaurant. I said, is there a spot that you okay with me touching in this restaurant? She said, oh, sure. She just throws her hand out there. So then I just take my finger and go on her hand and start doing this. And then in a few minutes, she's in multiple orgasms and is threatened to start screaming in the middle of the restaurant. And she's reached the point that she knows that if I refuse to stop, it's going to happen. Why? Because she's a hologram. Her vagina, her breasts, her lips, and everything is in this spot. You can either take one of her toes, her little toe, in your hand, in between three fingers, or you can take one of her fingers in between three fingers, whichever is most accessible. And all I want you to do is focus on that finger or toe, whichever, until you start to feel sense how her particular energy is moving inside. This is a form of love making with your clothes on. What you are attempting to do as a man is a sister by being so present with her till you start to clarify the real from the unreal. But that means that you have to be out of your fantasy. You got to do your spiritual work. Because in most instances, she's never understood how she functions herself. And then the men that she encounters have even less understanding of how she functions. They found out about how she functioned in the locker room somewhere or on the internet on porn. And most of that is erroneous information. It has nothing to do with anything. I touch a woman, I become whatever I'm touching her with. Nothing else in me is present in my awareness. And I go with her. And, and she ends up having a profound experience with me just being there holding space. Because if you're in no way able to sense her, you ought to almost leave her alone because now you're violating her by attempting to do something on her, but you never even made contact with her in the first place. It's coming from your body. She trusts your body. She doesn't trust you if you're up here. That whatever your body starts doing or attempting to do or has any intimation to 
move a certain way, follow it. Learn to support your body. Why? Because this life belongs to your body. I've gone into really coming to understand that plasma is permeating everything on this planet. Basically, I just speak to the, to the plasma and tell it to release the fascia three layers deep. And then I tell the plasma to now relax and plump up the muscles that the fascia is holding hostage. And once the fascia tightens in a certain way, if it's never released, it just keeps on pulling more and more fascia to that site. And it gets harder and harder and harder, shutting the energy down more and more and more. Now you notice that she's already starting to go through changes. Because as I'm saying what I'm saying, I'm speaking to the parts of her body that it concerns. See, the pulling thing in her neck, see, I, just me talking to it, it immediately starts acting up, trying to pull her head back. We are one with that. That universal creative life force energy. But most people never stop to know it directly by feeling it moving through you. Makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, all the way down into your pelvic region. A woman is capable of an orgasm every eight tenths of a second. And she can be in that kind of way for two, three, four hours. And all you can do is be there for her in that process. <clears throat> Because your being there keeps her focused on the process. So that means you as a man <coughs> have to be there with the intention to support her correcting what has been spoiled in her through all the mishandling that came before you. In order for you to really be able to have dominion over this, You've got to give up your normal way of thinking. Your brain that you're so fond of is too slow to deal with anything. It is like being on a tricycle when you could be on a jet. Believe absolutely nothing that I say in this room on face value. <clears throat> Take it, play with it, see if it works for you. If it does, then it belongs to you. You can tweak it however you want to. <laughs>